All right, welcome everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick video, kind of a preview video of a brand new BFS spool for the Corrado BFS. It also fit the SLX BFS and the Scorpion BFS. So if you wanna see that, uh, keep watching. Also comment down below what future BFS videos you wanna see. All right, to start off with uh, the spool, I'll show you here, this is a prototype spool from Roro. It is the CB26. Uh, it's a micro casting spool for the Corrado BFS. It also fits the Scorpion BFS and the SLX BFS. I test fit them and played with them all and they all fit and it's very, very nice fit actually. I'll go over kind of what it looks like free spooling and some of the tolerances and such. So how it works, uh, so when you order the spool, it's available for pre-order on the Roro website, also for Bait Finesse Empire if you live in the United States. Uh, so those pre-order links will be there. So the spool will come in a, a tube like this, uh, pretty, pretty standard. But something else that will come with the spool when you order it is a, it's called a peak shaft. And I'll show you what this does in a little bit. But basically it's just a, a polymer shaft that will act as a spool shaft of sorts. All right, so inside the Corrado BFS, that's why I have the spool in there. It's a pretty light spool. It's with the bearing. So there is a bearing attached now that's a little bit different. I'll show you some differences uh, overhead. But uh, the spool weighs 4.97 grams with the bearing on there. Without the bearing, it's 4.45. So it's a very, very lightweight spool. Stock spool, I think it was around nine grams if I remember correctly. So it is a huge drop in weight. Uh, just for comparison's sake, this is the, that is, I can't really see it that well in there, but this is the Avail spool that I've tried out. Uh, I know that some other uh, YouTubers have as, as well. And even with that, it's a 10% reduction in weight. So I think it was right around eight grams or so uh, when I was using it. It made a big difference casting. So I think this spool is going to make a huge difference casting. Uh, I know playing with it, it's very, very, the tolerances feel very nice. There's no spool wobble. And this is a, a late production, I mean a late prototype model. So this is pretty much the finished product. Uh, there's gonna be a gold color and a black color. All right, so when you order, uh, your spool will come in a tube like this and you'll also get a bag like this that has, you can see it in there, I'll show you uh, how that works, but it's called a peak bar as Ro calls it. Basically it is a false spool shaft and I'll show you how that works here in a second. Taking the spool out, move that aside. So the spool, it almost looks like a Daiwa spool of sorts, uh, how, it, how it doesn't have the full spool shaft on there. And there is a bearing, let me get it up close for you. There is a bearing there, and on the stock Corrado bear spool, which I'll take this out right now, I have it inside the Scorpion, just to, just to kind of show the, uh, the spool compatibility of sorts. So this long shaft here, that is what's what is replaced with this peak, this peak bar. And basically your spool tension knob, let me try to get this thing out here. This, this part will push on your spool tension knob and it'll push against the spool spool shaft like this in order to apply, apply your spool tension. That's how that's gonna work. So it does keep your, it keeps the uh, spool lighter and also it's a little bit harder, especially with these titanium alloys that the spool shaft's made out of. It's harder to really make that longer spool shaft. So it was a good way that uh, Roro was able to overcome those challenges. Uh, if you've been watching my social media for a while, you know that uh, the spool has been rumored for a long time and there's a lot of production challenges that has happened uh, with, with making the spool, uh, you know, different materials and designs that was just, it was hard to keep, get uh, down. And I was able to work with Ken from uh, Roro Lure, uh, just kind of give a little bit of guidance and such, uh, a little bit, a little bit of encouragement. And uh, I know that everybody would want to see this spool. So he and his machine staff were able to uh, come up with a few different design features that really, really impressed me. And I think that this spool will do very well. All right, so this, this bearing here will fit inside the, right by the pinion gear there. A lot like a Daiwa spool will work. Actually, I'm gonna, no, that won't work, Never mind. I was gonna say, I was gonna try that in a Daiwa reel, but you'd have to put an inductor and everything else on there. All right, so before I put the spool in, Basically, all you have to do is take out your, your tension knob, which this is, I mean, it still work, but this is a lot easier. This is a lot easier than uh, taking out those magnets. If you ever taken the magnets out of the, they're used for that veil spool, it is difficult. So you can see here, 
if you can pick if the camera can pick that up i have a ceramic bearing that's a roro ceramic bearing i have in there so i will not need that if i'm using it inside the corrado uh, just because this the spool when it, when the spool spinning it, this bearing will have no will have no uh, significant value to uh, the spool spinning so it's just going to rely on this spool bearing here and the side plate bearing that's all it's going to rely on so it will save you a little bit of money all right so that's the peak bar in there it, it's held in by the there's a little flange on there and it's held in onto the bearing you can see here maybe you can see try to hold it down a little bit more you can see it peaks out just a little bit right there kind of like how abu garcia's spools work but a little bit different so now when i apply the put the spool in here let me flip it around I'll put the spool in i'm just going to show for a second with that cast control knob off okay so i slide this in here you can see that it sticks up a little bit if you can see the side profile a little bit so with the, all that's going to do i put my spool let me put my tension knob back on just until i feel a little bit of resistance there and it's gonna be slightly loose you just twist it down keep twisting it loosen up a little bit a little bit more I have barely any side to side play right there. I'll put my brakes on one. You can see this is a very free spooling. It is ridiculously light in there. I could probably loosen that slightly. Yeah, it, it, it spins so freely. Um, I'm, I'm actually really, I'm really uh, optimistic to see how this is going to perform on the water. But that's all you'd have to do to switch from the stock spool to this spool. So it's pretty easy. Yes, it isn't as easy as just changing the spool, but I, I can tell you this is a lot easier than messing with the magnets that are on side like the avail spool, which I'll show these side by side. See, th these are those extra magnets from the avail spool. If you can see they're raised versus on the scorpion, which these are the same exact reel uh, let me move it here. So you can't really see the bearings on there. I mean the magnets and here you can see the magnets. So you, you will have to take all those magnets out in order to put the stock spool in there. See it, it'll rub or in, in order to put the Rora spool in there. So although the veil spool is pretty nice, I, I did like, it did make a pretty big casting impression on me. The big difference, this Rora spool should make a bigger difference i think it should be stable as well uh, given that it's the same exact inner diameter like the diameter of the spool like the inner diameter i guess it would be like the depth of the spool is the same so it will it will uh translate pretty well okay now if you want to see it in the slx bfs swap that over and this as easy as doing this i'll put this I'm going to put the scorpion side plate on just so I, to, I don't have to mess with those bearings and those magnets. Okay, now let's hold, hold my handle right here. Twist this off. Which if you, if you watch my other video that has the uh, all three of these reels kind of comparison side by side, uh, it, they are all basically the same reel. I mean, there's very minor differences in each of these reels so price wise the slx is is less expensive especially you know order from digitaka or you know wherever you order your jdm reels from it's actually less expensive than the corrado uh, but the corrado is available stateside which is which is nice especially if you're doing like a tackle warehouse order or something uh, you can kind of just put everything together okay i just i'll put the wrong cast control knob on there kind of a chimera type reel but whatever all right, let me turn that. I got a little there. Now it's now it's in there how I want it. This brake is on one, so there's no rubbing. I don't see any wobbling of the spool. It feels really balanced and it's very quiet. I was I thought it would be louder. I know the avail spool 
is definitely louder. And a lot of times these very thin, thin spools can be louder. It's just kind of, there's less uh, material to absorb vibrations and such. But yeah, I mean, I could, I mean, I could do that with uh, the Scorpion as well, but I mean, this has got all the parts. It, it works very, very nice. It, so comparing the spools, you can see this is the Avail spool that uh, is available at Bait Finesse Empire as well. It is a nice spool. Uh, it does, it is a little loud. I don't know why it's so loud, like especially comparing it to this Royal spool now. This is a louder spool. Uh, it is shallower. This does hold less line than the Roro. The Roro is close to uh, the stock specifications. It does have, if you can see, it does have a slight V. Like it, so like the, the center of the spool is slightly lower than the sides of the spool. That helps with stability a little bit and also uh, line stack. It will help hold, I mean, uh, hide your knot better. That's one thing with the Veil spool. It is a nice performing spool, but anywhere you go, you have a knot. You have a knot there. And it, it can affect how the way your line lays on there. So the veil, this and the spool is uh, it is less expensive as well. And that comes with the peak bar, and it also has this uh, micro bearing, which is a pretty nice quality bearing. I, I never really change out the stock uh, Roro bearings on my on my spools, but it does perform well. Uh, at least in hand, it, it's very balanced. You can tell it's 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 machined well. So I will be testing this out, doing some uh, doing some different lure casting. Of, of course, I'll, I'll do some light lures. Also do some uh, typical BFS lures to see if pitching and casting and uh, other other performance. If there's any pros and cons uh, of the Roro spool over the stock spool, this is the stock Corrado spool. I'll do this for a comparison as well. It's about the same depth. Uh, I could measure that. I'll put some measurements actually down below. I forgot to grab my calipers. But it's definitely a lot more uh, weight savings there. The spool definitely went on a diet. I do like this silver color, but this is just this is silver just because it's the it's a prototype. These will be available in black and also in golden. So it should match the Corrado pretty well. Also, I mean black matches everything, but that gold color matching the Corrado. Uh, I think that that would be a very welcome feature. Okay, and I will do a side-by-side -side, uh, free spool test. Not that this proves. <coughs> All right, I'll do a side-by-side -side, uh, free spool test. Not that this really proves much for performance. All right, brake is on one. And this also has the, the extra magnets in there. I don't know if the mic can pick that up. It's gonna be hard for you to see because it's all black. But it does come to a little bit of an abrupt stop. Not anything terrible. And this is the Roro spool. I mean, a little bit longer free spool and also uh, a smoother stop as well, and it's quieter. All right, as as you saw, uh, so it's a it's a pretty nice spool. It's quiet. It, it it spins freely, and also some very well thought out things uh, with the peak bar in order to make the spool lighter, but also making sure that the the spool was designed to to not have to use extra magnets. One thing I found, it is very convenient to always switch back and forth between uh, aftermarket spools and stock spools for reels, but when you have the avail spool. You have those magnets, you have to take the magnets out and you have to, you know, take the magnets out to then put the stock spool in. And it's a, just a, a little bit cumbersome, especially with those small magnets that can be hard to get off sometimes. Uh, just taking the, to change to the veil spool, it's as easy as just taking out the, the, the cast control knob, taking out the peak bar and you're good to go. And also to note that if you're going to increase your BFS capabilities of your reel, you just need to buy one for the side plate because the spool comes with one. Uh, if you were just using your the stock spool or that avail spool, your upgraded spool bearing, if you want to call it that, would be inside your cast control knob and your uh, and also your side plate. So that's something to keep in mind too for a little bit of cost savings. So I'm going to be getting this thing out in the water here pretty soon. To make sure you check in Instagram and also I'll try to post some uh, short videos on on. YouTube in order to be able to show some of the casting performance and then I'll do an overall video as well Just so you know if this reel is going to be a uh, suit for your type of fishing or not